Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to Mornings with Brian and Tyler. And today we are in Matthew 15, verses 21 through 28. Tyler, if you'll read those. Then Jesus went out from there and departed to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came from that region and cried out to him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely demon possessed. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she cries out after us. But he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. And she said, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said to her, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. All right. There's a lot, of, uh, a lot going on in this one. But uh, one of the things that you need to take notice of is the woman came seeking mercy of healing and God's intervention for the benefit of her daughter. And Jesus says in verse 26 that healing is the children's bread. Now, let that one sink in. This woman got crumbs. So, no, she didn't. Yes, she did. That's what she asked for. She wasn't asking for the portion of the children. Portion of the children, Jesus says, the children's portion is for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. It was for Israel. It was for people that were in covenant with God. And she says, I'm not asking for the children's portion. She says, I'm just asking for what falls to the ground of what's left over from the children. Meaning the children of God, that the fullness of what Jesus had the potential of was for the children of God. That was the children's bread. And uh, you said, well, what, what difference does that make, brother? It makes all the difference that there is. You know, and, and I don't know about you, Tyler, uh, in churches, I'm not talking about within your family and and personal stuff with your family. But weren't you taught that most of these miracles and these events of Jesus, um, that they were these, you know, one-off special events? Mm -hmm. You know. Well, if it's a one-off special event, then it's not bread. The one-off special event is that one time you had elk steak not that time that you had toast with butter. Children's bread. I don't know about, I don't have any elk steak in my house right now. Do you have any elk steak? No, sir. You know, now you probably don't have bread, you know, but you don't need bread because if you come to my house, what do we have? Tortillas. We have bread. Whether it's tortillas or, you know, Dave's bread that's been, you know, out of sprouted grains or whatever. Bread is a staple. Jesus says that what he has to give is a staple of his ministry. And all she wanted was the crumbs. My dogs get the crumbs eating a PB and J I don't always like to eat the crust I'll eat all the way to the edge of the crust then I give the crust to the dogs that's the crumbs I eat the main portion they get that that's the truth about Jesus's uh, healing ministry and, and you say but brother God you know all that ended when the apostles died. That can't be true. James 5 tells us to pray for one another that we might be healed. James 5 says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. James 5 says Elijah was a man subject to like passions just as we were, and he prayed that it would not rain, and it did not rain for three and a half years. Therefore, that means the bare minimum of what you and I should be capable of in faith, in the ministry of Jesus, as his children in his church and kingdom, 
is to be able to do equal or greater than Elijah. Because you don't hold up a standard of someone and say, he was just an average guy like you, and this is what he did by prayer in faith. If you're not capable of equal or greater. You know. <clears throat> and, and you have any thoughts or comments on this? No, sir. We'll come back, look at some of the other aspects of this tomorrow about the language and what's going on. But let that one kind of sink into your head. If you can't achieve it for yourself, then why would you hold it up as a standard to someone else? You only hold up a standard if it's possible to attain equal or greater. And uh, this woman came in faith, in prayer, to get crumbs, and she did. So my question is, why are we not eating the bread and why have we said that the crumbs are too good for us as God's children? Just something to think about. Brian Reagan, this is Tyler Kelly. We bid you good morning, Lord willing. We'll see you this afternoon for our midday meditation.